Hello everyone. Um, we are going to start Chapter 3, Section 1, Parallel Lines and Transversals. The objective for this lesson is to identify the relationships between two lines or two planes and name angle pairs formed by parallel lines and transversals. So let's go ahead and get started. Now parallel lines, this is on your packet, so you need to have that out. And um, you can fill out this definition on your packet. So parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. So here we can say JK is parallel with LM. And these little arrows here mean that they are, these two lines are parallel. And instead of writing out the word parallel, you can use this symbol to show parallel. And feel free to pause the video anytime if you need more time for writing. And we're going to move on. The next vocabulary word are, is skew lines, are lines that do not intersect and are not coplanar. So if you notice in this picture, um, this line L and this line M are skew because they are not in the same plane. And parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. So these planes, A and B, will not intersect each other. And therefore, they are parallel planes. I do not think that these are in your, oh, parallel planes is in your packet. It's that very large, large space above parallel lines. And um, you could put skew lines in there if you wanted to. So looking at this picture of this slice of cheese, identify all segments parallel to JP. So I want you guys to pause the video at this time and find all the lines parallel to JP. Okay, all the lines parallel to JP, you should have said, if this is JP right here, all the lines not intersecting JP is LR, oops, and I probably don't want yellow, do I? So we could say LR and um, KQ, this one back here. And a parallel plane, or a, a plane parallel to plane PQR. PQR is this plane down here. So a plane that will never intersect it is going to be plane JKL. All right, so there's identifying planes and parallel lines. Now another vocab word is transversal. And T is the transversal here. Transversal intersects two or more coplanar lines at two different points. So here's two lines. They don't have to be parallel lines, but they do have to intersect two coplanar lines is a transversal. So next we're going to look at the different types of angles that the transversal and these two coplanar lines create. And these are on your um, packet. If you want to draw this picture on your packet and put it in that large plate, that large pay space, excuse me, above the parallel lines, that would be great. I just noticed that parallel planes, you can do that, and then you can have this picture. So why don't you pause the video, draw this picture down, and it'd be great to have some different colors handy or some different highlighters to show. Um, to show what these angles are when we identify them. So go ahead and pause and draw the picture. Okay, um, angles three, four, five, and six are interior angles. So three, four, five, and six are all interior because they are on the inside of the 
two coplanar lines. They're in that interior space. Next we have the exterior angles, which are 1, 2, 8, and 7. They are all on the outside in the exterior space. So they are the exterior angles. Next, 3 and 5, we are going to call them the alternate interior angles. If you notice, they're on alternate sides of the transversal. So those are alternate interior angles. And if you want to do them in a different color, that would be great to show that. And feel free to pause at any time. The next one, angle 4 and angle 6, are also alternate interior angles to each other because they're on either side of the transversal and they're on the inside. Okay, the next one, 1 and 7 are alternate exterior angles. 1 and 7 are alternate exterior angles. Can you guess what the other alternate exterior angles are? You guessed it, 2 and 8 are also alternate exterior angles. Okay, we're going to continue with this picture and we also have corresponding angles. Corresponding angles, if you notice, 1 and 5 are corresponding because they are on the same side of the each line, on the upper left and the upper left of each line and the transversal. So 2 and 6, they're in the upper right, upper right. 3 and 7 are on the lower right of each line, and 4 and 8 are on the lower left. They, therefore, they are corresponding angles. Another word you'll need to know are consecutive interior angles. Again, this is in your packet. 4 and 5 are consecutive interior because they're on the same side of the transversal, and 3 and 6 are consecutive interior angles. Hold on here. So, sorry, Mr. Edgerly was just visiting me. Okay, so now what I want you to do is pause the video here and classify the relationship between each pair of angles. So I want you to tell me what these angles are. So go ahead and pause the video, and we will see what, what answers you come up with. And I'm going to change a few numbers here to make this better for you. So number one should be one and eight. Two we're going to leave as the angle six and angle seven. And three is going to be angle two and angle seven. And four is going to be angle three and angle six. So go ahead and pause the video and um, see if you can come up with those. Okay, here are the answers. One and eight are alternate exterior. Two is consecutive interior because they're on the same side of the transversal and three are alternate interiors and four for angles three and six are also alternate interior because they're on either side of the um, transversal inside the interior part of the lines. So that's all I have for you. Make sure you guys write down lots of questions. Let me know what you um, what you think of and we will practice this some more. All right, bye guys, see ya.